I think this video is going to be about the favicon icon for my underdog site but I just want to mention that I didn't videotape it but I did some things for my project I added some directories here like the logs the docs the vendor and I created dot git keep files in them so that they would be cloned when I use git so supposedly they would show up on my production server however there were folders that would not show up because they are part of my git ignore file which is this thing over here here's my git ignore now those individual folders will be created through other means and they will be unique to the environment in which they are created. Therefore, they cannot be part of the Git repository for the project. The other thing that I want to mention is that when I log into the production server, it takes me to Buscompa. Now, I haven't figured out how to resolve that problem. I'm going to work on it in another video. But one thing I did manage to do is to add an alias. So when I type underdog, I'm able to quickly change directory to underdog zone and get a listing of it. Okay, now I'm going to move right along. My mission in life at this point in time is to find out the dimensions for a favicon icon. According to the notes I have, it was like 16 by 16 or something, the one that I had. But I want to know what is it supposed to be. And once I find out what it's supposed to be, I'm going to take that painting I made and I'm going to make an image that size so that I can use it. Okay, I was able to find a very good website for generating favicons. It was this one called Real Favicon Generator. And after generating the icon based on this image right here, I downloaded a package which contained a zip file. And then I'm supposed to extract this package in the root of the website and then insert this code into the index page. Okay, so what have I done so far? Here is the web directory for my project. And I placed the contents, which are these ping files. And there's an SVG, a manifest.json, and a favicon.icon and a browser config XML. The other thing I did is I edited my index.php to include this stuff over here. Now, in order for me to set this up, I need to get these images and all these text files into the production server. Now, I will take the text files and have them be transferred through my usual mechanism using Git and GitHub. However, the images are not to become part of the repository. So I need to find a way to get those images in the corresponding web folder on the production server. And I need to adjust my .git ignore so that these files are ignored, these image files. So I'm going to work on that. I'm not going to videotape all my work, but I'll tell you what I've done after I've done it. I was able to successfully do the things which I mentioned. As you can see, the favicon appears on my website. The command which helped me the most was, and I'll show it, in vimrc, in Unix, commands that are useful. It was this command right here that was able to help me. This command basically uses SCP and then it takes as argument a list of the local files that you want to copy to the server, then the account on the server and the location, in other words, the directory on the server where you want to place these files. And that's it for this video.